Hi there, in this week's video I'm back to doing some Q&A so if you've got a question for me please do get in touch, you can either DM me or use the email. Okay thanks, so first of all I've got a question from Kate, Kate says um, do I need to get my colours redone once I transition to grey hair? So Kate, yes you do. Now your colour transition will be quite different depending on whether to start with you were of a warmer palette or a cooler palette. So very, very top level. Um, that means whether you were kind of autumn or spring on the palette or whether you were summer or winter on the palette. The first two being uh, warmer colours than the, the latter two. Um, if you're going grey, you're automatically going to have a lot more cool in your palette, so it will change. So it's definitely worth revisiting that. Um, Moraid says, can you recommend me a pair of white trainers? Yes, I can, Moraid. So my absolute go-to with my clients, with my members, with myself, um, as a really straight out the box comfortable is a Stan Smith. So that's what I would recommend. Um, the other thing to say about that is that if you know what size you are, and they're an Adidas uh, trainer, if you know what size you are, um, and this goes for all trainers, if you've got a favourite trainer, whether you like Adidas Gazelles or whether you like a Nike Internationalist, whatever, when you know what you are, please do then go on Vinted if you ever need a new pair, because you'll find that you can get brand new or barely worn trainers. So you can often just get some that have never been worn because someone's obviously bought the wrong size. So that's a tip for you. Um, again, I love sustainability, so you don't always have to buy brand new to get brand new. Um, Elizabeth says, uh, where, on you, uh, where are you on how to look after your cashmere? Do you freeze jumpers or how do you pack them away once winter is over? So obviously that's a really great question for now because although we should be really into spring, um, it's been a lot colder. So I've definitely been digging back into my cashmere. So one of my jobs for the weekend actually, what I do is I wash everything. So I don't even dry clean my cashmere. Um, I wash it, I use a brand called Care, which is K-A-I-R, and it's a lovely, lovely um, detergent, really soft. Uh, the jumpers are so fluffy, they smell amazing. And um, I've got a wool cycle on my machine that's really gentle, but they, they come out amazing. And I do that, and then I once they're very, very dry, I pack them away in a Ziploc bag, or one of those kind of vacuum bags, depending on if I want to do a bulk or just do them one at a time. So that's what I personally do with mine. And I'm sure that other people would probably do the same, but maybe dry clean everything and then pack them away. I do recommend packing them away and putting some kind of, even you know folding over the bag. You don't actually have to zip plug, but just something that just stops those moths getting in. Um, Rain says, and I don't know if I pronounce that right, so I hope that I've got that right. Um, my question is, I'm a petite size six in my mid 40s and up to the start of the pandemic, I shopped predominantly in Topshop, warehouse and stores where the clothes just fit me. Now these physical stores have disappeared and their online offering is just not me. I'm way too old. I feel stuck. In my head, I'm not ready for frumpy, but I no longer have an idea where to shop. Can you help? So there are quite a few petite brands. I don't know your personal style, so they might not be right for you. So. There's one called, um, and I don't even know if I pronounce this right, it's Alida, so it's A-L-Y-D-A. -A. Um, that's a brand that's just for petites. There's also Jennifer Ann, which is more workwear. Then obviously the high street, you've got Reese, Bowden, um, where else does it, um, Hobbs. They, they all do a petite range, so they're definitely worth looking at. There's also a brand called Reformation, and they do petite. So there are offerings out there. Unfortunately, you just really do have to take a look. And also do not um, not consider alterations. It's really worth considering alterations. I know that when you're petite, sometimes it's more about the body size. Is, um, you know, it depends if you're petite and you're short and you're very small, but it's definitely worth getting alterations done. So really think about that as well, if you can get something that's nearly right and get it altered. Um, and then Karen says, um, I was wondering if you could uh, talk a bit about style while working from home. My youngest child is ill and my husband and I work mostly from home to care for him. We have cats and I find that I wear the same ill-fitting jeans deemed fit only for home wear and fleece sweater because it's so chilly in our old house that I switch out for dressier, uh, dressier sweater for Zoom meetings. I'm tired of feeling frumpy all the time. Could you give me some advice on how to dress but still have practical clothes that can be washed regularly and will not instantly get ruined by the cat? Now, obviously this is quite difficult because I don't know you, Karen, but I would say, first of all, um, if you've got a cat, <laughs> sounds so obvious, just make sure for one that you've got a really good um, sticky roller 
thing because sometimes just clothes if you just leave them with the hair on and everything they just get worse and worse but one of the things you mentioned is sort of ill-fitting jeans so the first thing I'd say it's really worth and you do have to put some time into this it won't just miraculously happen so I would really urge you to just sort of do some prep have a look at my if you haven't got my 12 top stores um, download I can I can link it below the video that will give you some shops to start with just some basic stores that I would recommend just that do basic clothes not sort of fashion clothes but just basic stuff and um, the main thing is just to go out and please do not do this online if you can get to a city and just go and have a, a try on and just buy some clothes you mentioned ill-fitting just get some clothes that fit you well you don't have to go super expensive um, but the other brand that I really recommend just for feeling comfortable is, is a brand called Dye which is D-A-I their website is Dye Wear they're super stretchy comfortable really washable um, they're, they're really good quality and they will last a lot of washes um, but I think that for a lot of clothes you know it really depends on what you want to spend and your price point but you know there's plenty of things that are, are washable you know even um, for, for really basic clothes places like Uniqlo can be really good um, but I do recommend you just have a think about your what it is that you need do a conscious shopping you might have seen a video before where I've talked about using a moon sift board so having just doing some preparation uh, and actually just making a decision of what you actually want to wear uh, working from home you don't say you have mentioned zoom calls but you don't say what what you actually do so you know I really just think a lot of it is around when you feel good even if you're sitting in your room on your, your home office just having clothes that fit you well but have got some stretch in them some giving them it's just definitely worth investing in those so it takes some time and do a bit of prep and then check out the stores that I recommend and really just go through them and just decide like, like look at tops just do what again I don't know if you've got my book but I do recommend um, the way that I recommend that you shop is to do one item at a time so you're looking through stores just looking for jumpers or just looking for tops and and have a sweep through and then pop them on a moon sift board and then come back to them and then if you can get into the stores and actually try things on and just get things that fit you well that would be my recommendation um and then Nisha has said i would love to get some really flattering jeans are there any particular brands you would recommend for a fairly rotund mid 50s female um Nisha, i would recommend um, first of all I'm going to say this again I recommend if you're jeans shopping please do not try and do it online please just make a plan get into town get into a city where you've got a lot of choice and just go with the only intention of buying jeans and just do a big trying on fest it, I know it's hard I know it can be really painful but you know decide on your price point and then go to the shops on that price point so for me I definitely recommend um, buying a higher end jean they really do you know I know it's all about what people have got the budget but you know if you wear jeans a lot it's absolutely worth the investment so I would recommend that you go and look at brands somewhere like John Lewis for example the reason I recommend somewhere like John Lewis is their demographic for jeans is basically our demographic it's our age group they're not going to have all the high fashion jeans all the crazy rips and all of that they're going to have your bog standard good blue wash jean the brands that they've got in there are absolutely worth looking at things like page citizens of humanity frame um, and I would go for a higher waist uh, so for comfort the other jean that you might find good for you you say rotund I don't know what size you are there's a brand called not your daughter's jeans which are hugely stretchy and comfortable they go up to like a size 20 something like they're really very stretchy jean um, that's definitely worth looking at but yeah I would recommend a brand going into somewhere like John Lewis where they've got lots of different brands also if you're in London Selfridges have got a denim studio you can book an appointment they will ask you what you're looking for and when you arrive they've got loads of jeans for you can you can just try on it's so worth doing that and having someone else do the groundwork for you and also in London it's obviously what I know there's a brand shop called Trilogy there's one off Marlebone High Street and there's one in just off the King's Road they also have a lot of brands of jeans that are definitely worth and again they're higher end but if you can go in there and you get an idea of what you like then um, they are worth the investment if you've got money to spend and then another tip for you using Vinted is that when you know that you're a certain size in a certain jean and you can search for that name, so for example, J Brand Maria, size 28, you will find those listed on things like Vinted and you can often get further pairs um, in exactly the jean you want, barely worn for a fraction of the price. Um, uh, finally, I've got a question from Elspeth who says, some time ago I watched your video about having your eyebrows microbladed. Yes, I have. I'm tempted but would love an honest opinion about how much it hurts. <laughs> I have a low pain threshold. So I didn't find it that painful. I actually don't mind stuff like that. I, I kind of 
kind of doze off a bit. You are with Elle who did mine and I'm sure that everyone's the same wherever you go. They use a numbing cream so it really is numbing. So you can, the weirdest part about it is that you can hear like a sort of slightly scratchy noise where they're, where they're doing it but honestly it's not painful. Once the anaesthetic wears off it's a little bit stingy but it's, it's, it's not painful. Um, and if you take, a, take, actually I'm not sure that you're allowed to take a Nurofen, I think it's a blood thinner. I don't think you're allowed to take anything before, but um, you, you can do it. I liken it to things like the dentist, where you can sort of feel rummaging around. It's not particularly comfortable, but it's fine. And then sometimes the pain might come a little bit later, but I absolutely, it's not that bad. I really don't think. Anyway, I hope that you found the answers to those questions useful. Please do let me know if you've got anything that you would like my opinion on or an answer to, and I will do my absolute best to help you out. Anyway, have a fantastic day.